can we just start by asking what's your knowledge about fluoride or your understanding of fluoride? Well, my best understanding of this, uh, some years ago, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Mark Michel, who's an organic vegetable grower, who was telling me that if you want to grow organic vegetables that are approved by the, the uh, Soil Association, you can't water them with tap water. It's fine to give tap water to your children, but you can't put it on organic vegetables. They insist that the organic vegetables have to be watered with rainwater. Or what, or it has to be treated. You can't use tap water. And he said, that has to surely put something into your mind. If it's not good for vegetables, why would it be good for us? And I started looking into it a bit, um, and I think I, I wrote an article about it um, some years ago, um, pointing out that we are now one of the last remaining outposts in the world that fluoridates water um, and it's in every single water supply in Ireland both public and private uh, and it does seem to be a completely unnecessary thing to do um, and worse than unnecessary it might actually be harmful well I have a one of those filters um, uh, at my main kitchen sink so if I'm if I'm making a cup of coffee or tea that's what we use uh, I also drink a lot of bottled water. It's another solution available to you. Um, years ago, when when my daughter was smaller, I liked horses. We used to keep a couple of horses, ponies. We noticed then that if you took a bucket of water out of tap water, the ponies wouldn't touch it. They'd turn their noses up, they'd smell it, and then they'd just go away. They wouldn't touch it. And you know that um, a glass of tap water um, not through by filter, smells very strongly, but it smells like chlorine. Uh, I mean, that, that is in fact a, a, a problem here because we don't only use water for drinking. Um, you're going to cook with it, you're going to make cups of tea with it, you're going to make cups of coffee with it, you're going to make soup with it. So really the question is, um, how much of this fluoride are you going to ingest? Um, certainly if you think that boiling your water is going to somehow get rid of it. It won't. Um, it doesn't go away with boiling. Um, so that's not a solution. Um, it's impractical to say to you, uh, cook your pasta in bottled water. I mean, nobody's going to do that. It's far too expensive. So I think really the simplest solution um, is to get um, a small filter that you can tie in online in other words, on the main incoming pipe, and uh, take a feed off that. In fact, I got one that's you don't even need a plumber to install it. You just, you just, it screws into the existing pipework. You can do it manually, and that gives you a tap then, which is only you don't use for washing up, obviously, but it's 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 there for if you want to cook or if you want to make a cup of tea or coffee. I think that's the best solution. But I mean, it just it's it's yet one other thing that makes you annoyed with the government. I mean, they're in imposing new and inventive taxes on us at all times. And here they are giving us something we have no choice over that we don't want. Yet, to avoid taking it, you have to go to some expense. Uh, I think the simplest solution would be for them to simply stop fluoridating the water. And uh, that means none of us have to go to any expense whatever. Much simpler solution.